This break-in happened at Longboat Jewelers near Sacramento and Grant. As Cronford's Jonathan McCall reports, it was not the first time that store has been targeted. The owners of this jewelry store tell me they are just absolutely shaken and disturbed by the break-in that happened early Tuesday morning. In fact, it's the second time in just four days that they've been targeted. They say that thieves were able to get in and out in less than three minutes, taking off with more than $100,000 worth of items. Owners of the Longbow Jewelers in San Francisco's Chinatown are cleaning up the damage and shattered glass while also counting their losses. Tuesday morning, the owners say that thieves cut around this lock on the store's gate, hammered their way through the front door, and took off with more than $250,000 in merchandise. I think right now what's happening, it seems like there's less physical violence, but the robbers are still happening, and they're happening even more aggressively. Ebert Khan is with United Peace Collaborators, a group that has been patrolling Bay Area Asian neighborhoods since attacks on Asian Americans during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. Khan says he was at this same store just Saturday afternoon. We were out here Saturday, roughly about 12 o'clock, and we saw the broken glass and we asked them and there were some police officers here writing a report. Khan says at that time he learned from SFPD officers as many as four jewelry stores in Chinatown were targeted on Saturday. Cron 4 has reached out to SFPD to get more details, but so far have yet to hear back. The owners of the store, too shaken to talk on camera, now worried the thieves will come back for a third time. The owners say they were just months away from retiring after 40 years. Almost all the owners are kind of scared. You know, they, they don't know what they do. Their hands are tied. They say people rob them and there's no repercussion. You know, they, and then they come back. And they, they're at the point where they're ready to just give up and close. There a lot of people now that's been here for a while, they're going to retire. And they may not be alone. Khan says with rising rents, not enough customers, and crime surging, many owners in Chinatown could be looking to shut up shop for good. In San Francisco's Chinatown, Jonathan McCall, Cron 4 News.